and welcome back. In this video, we're going to do everything we need to do in order to create or tell TopSolid that we want to use this tool as a cutting tool within TopSolid CAM. Now, there's some prep work that we have to do. This is an imported model, and because it's made of multiple solids, it is an assembly file. Now, what I always tell everyone is it's best to check the integrity of the data before you get started. So what I'm going to do is right click on this part, the insert in this place, and I'm going to do an in place edit. That loads just the insert file and I can come to my surface tab really quick and I can go to the heal command. I'm going to select the insert, hit go. If there was any invalid entities, it would tell me right there. I'm going to click OK. Here I'm going to let it go ahead and simplify my geometry as well. Perfect. Green check. Done. Now, it may seem like nothing, but simplifying geometry lightens up everything, makes everything easier to work with, and also helps to eliminate potential mistakes and problems in the insert. If there is a mathematical problem in the imported geometry, your stock update is going to take potentially a really, really long time, or it'll fail altogether. Let's do the same thing here. So I'm going to take this body, do an in-place edit, and I'm just going to run quickly on this, again, with my surface heal command and done perfect so now I know everything is good next what I want to do is I'm going to create a couple of cutting frames now real fast I want to see if well let's see I'm gonna put a cutting frame here and I'm gonna put a frame here as well now the first frame that we create it's important to understand that the x-axis needs to go to the right in this case and the y-axis needs to go vertical with the origin at the center of the nose radius okay it is also best to have that at the same altitude as the frame we're going to create back here for putting this into the holder on the lathe now what i often check is where the two intersect so for example if i come here and i say let's create a point at the intersection between an axis and a plane, right? So if I choose that axis and I choose this plane, we can see where everything is at. And if I come look at this from the side, maybe right there, they're basically on the same point, but if you notice, there's a little bit of a shift there, okay? Now, the reason why I bring this up if you put the two frames at a different shift this way, this means you have to shift the insert in the Y axis of the machine in order to cut anything. We want to avoid that. Now, technically, this is right for the way the insert's manufactured, the way the insert works, but the way we need to report it to top solids, slightly different. So I'm just bringing this to your attention. So I'm going to leave that point there, and that's going to be our driven point. Okay. Or if you wanted to, we could do this another way. We could say, okay, let's do another intersection between that. Oops and that, and that's going to be a point on the insert face, which is also okay. Let's use that point instead. Why not? And now let's go make our first frame. So I'm going to come here to frame by point in two directions. It's going to be on that point we just created, right? And here I'm going to say that I need to be in my, in my X negative in this case, if we trust that frame, or I could even choose uh, for my X direction, this linear edge, and say I need to be that way. And I want my Y direction to be that linear edge. Why not? Perfect. Next, what I want to do is I want to make another frame over here. Okay, but again, we want it at that same altitude, right? So perhaps what we'll do is we're going to do a quick little measurement here because what I want to find out is is this point at the same level as this point down here. This can make our lives a little bit simpler. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly run an analysis, go here, we'll say I want an XYZ measurement from this frame of that point. And in Z, no, that's relieved. Okay, which probably makes sense because it's a relieved insert. Yep. If we check this point, we got a 12,000th difference, right? So why don't we do this? Let's make a frame this way. I'm going to create a frame, and this is going to be kind of fun. You can do lots of steps at the same time in Top Solid. I'm going to make a frame where I'm offsetting a point. 
my offset point is going to be based off of an intersection point between an axis and a plane. Perfect. So that's down at that level. The offset direction is going to be relative to that edge. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say this is, oh, let's just call it, let's call it 0.5 inches. Just to show you that even though you're in a metric document, you can type an inch value. What this represents is the default stick out distance of this tool from the uh, turning holder. So I'm going to click OK. We have our frame. In this case, we want the X matching the X axis here, but we want the Z matching that orientation. Perfect. Now, what's neat here is this is just an offset point, so I can always double click on this and modify its value again. I could say that I want this to be 10. Oh, we went back to metric, that's fine. I want this to be 50. You can have this at whatever point you want, but what's really, really critical here is that the two points, so again, I'm zoom way up, this is a good example of this, these two points are at the same altitude level. Otherwise, again, when we put this tool in the machine in top solid, it's going to think you need a y-axis shift in order to use this tool. Okay? So now that that's all done, we have a couple more things to do. I'm going to go ahead, make a sketch on my frame, and all I'm doing is choosing that little black section there of the XY portion of the frame, and I'm going to build a sketch, and I'm going to quickly intersect with this face and this face to get some curves. And we're going to use that when we ultimately define the tool, which we're going to do in the next video.